Okay, so let's continue on our topic of our frequency tables. Okay, so, so far we talked about basically looking at, we give some question and like we did, um, we'll do the grocery store example again. So number of times to store in week and we have count. So we went to measure, let's say for the people in our sample, for people who went zero times, one time, two time, and three times. Okay, so the count would be how many people from our sample went zero, we'll say five. For one, we'll say, uh, we'll say 10. For two, we'll say 10. And for three, we're going to say, uh, we'll go back down to five. Okay, so in order to be a frequency table, we really need to add a relative frequency column. All right, so in order to know our relative frequency, we, know, we need to know what our sample size is. So in this case, our sample has a size. Okay, we're going to introduce a variable here. We have little n. So little n is our sample size, and it equals just to the sum of all these. So we've got 10, 20, 25, and 30. So our sample size is equal to 30. So the relative frequency is just the amount for an individual case, the number of counts, divided by the total. So relative frequency here would be 5 divided by 30, then we'd have 10 divided by 30, 10 divided by 30, and then again 5 divided by 30. So that would be the relative frequency. If we translated those into, uh, you know, we could simplify, that's like 1 sixth, 1 third, 1 third, and 1 sixth. 